Hello everyone. Wanted to show a video of a uh, LED strip that I made, magnetic, using uh, cheap parts I found online. Um, anyway, there's uh, 30 LEDs in this strip. Let me go ahead and plug it in so you kind of get an idea. I'm taking this video with my cell phone, so I've only got one hand here. So, there's the brightness. The uh, Sometimes it's hard to tell with your camera. Uh, how bright it is. Let me shut the light off over here. So it's red, not ideally the color you would use. Um, you know, the, the, the purpose for this that I would see that I'd like to use something like this for would be you stick this up on the bottom of your car when you're working on stuff underneath and then it lights up the whole area you're working on. You could get two strips, put one on the right side, one on the left side, everything's visible. Um, I used red because that's the stuff I had laying around and I wanted to build a prototype to see how well the uh, magnets would hold it. Um, you know, it it seems to be all right. It's uh well, let me let me unplug it so you can see. It's in it's encased in this waterproof, well it claims it's waterproof, but basically it's just um it's it's kind of like it's almost like it's glue uh some kind of a plastic shield around it. You can cut it any anywhere between the three LEDs and then solder onto there to put your connector so this is a, a strip this has 30 lights in it and it's just over 19 inches long Let me, I'm trying to do this with one hand because I'm using my cell phone to record so you can see I'm sorry just under 19 inches no just over 19 inches depending on how you're looking at the tape measure Anyway, you can buy on eBay, going between anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks, you can buy a strip of this that's 16 feet long, and it includes 300 LEDs. If you're going to search, use um, the term LED 5050 strip waterproof. You'll, you'll be bound to find this in any color imaginable. Um, and uh, I'd suggest searching USA sellers so you get it within a few days rather than a month or so. And then I also bought some cheap magnet. This is just half inch strip. Uh, I bought a thing of that of 25 feet. I think I paid about 10 bucks for it. So uh, not too bad. So in other words, for anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks, you could have 16 feet of this stuff. Um, and everybody's talking about LEDs and how they're really power efficient. Um, well, what I found is when you get this many of them, usually it's, it, lose, it loses efficiency. Now, the brightness you're going to get with this is outstanding, but in a small area, it doesn't really disperse well. So in a small area, like under your car, this would be ideal. Um, you're not going to want to light up a whole room with this stuff because it's not going to be as bright as, say, a fluorescent light. That's 80 watts for both of those, and that generates a significant amount, amount of more light than 80 watts worth of this. Now I put a multimeter up to these 30 LEDs and it was pulling half of an amp. So multiply that by 10 if you had 300 of these which is a 16, 16 feet worth and you're pulling 5 amps. So um, on a battery like th this for instance is a 7 amp hour battery which means I wouldn't get a whole lot more over an hour maybe an hour and 20 minutes worth of run time on this battery. Um, you know, this is this is just a little cheap jumper battery you would buy at the auto parts store. Um, what I actually had in mind was running this into your car cigarette lighter plug. Um, you know, you're working on a car, why not use the car's battery to power it? Um, obviously, if you have a 12 volt power pack, um, you know, that you could run that on that can supply 5 amps of power or how many ever is required by all your LEDs. Um, you know, that that's ideal also. Um, you know, when you're working on cars, a lot of times you're not too concerned about how much power you're pulling because you're not running it the whole time. You're just running it while you're working, you know, for hours or a couple hours or whatever. Um, anyway, so that's it's kind of a neat little de design. Um, the magnets, you know, they're 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 pretty good. You know, I'm sure you can order stronger ones. This this was just a hobby magnet kit. You could probably pick it up at Hobby Lobby, but um, it's just easy to buy things online. Um, I'm also using uh, the wiring, it's like an old PC power supply plug, because I have billions of those laying around. Yeah, so this is this is kind of heavier duty wire than than what you would normally use for something like this. Um, 
you know, if you just put, you know, 20 gauge speaker wire or something cheap like that on there, it probably hold a little bit better, but you know, not, not too bad. It just, it just depends on the application that you want to use it for. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.